Yep, there you go. Keep going. On the iFish Pro. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are up here in northern Wisconsin and we are doing some walleye fishing. Goal for tonight is to get into some fish. We uh, we went pan fishing earlier, my girlfriend and I. Olivia's in the shack behind me. Olivia, you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's warming up in the shack right now. Earlier today, her and I went up pan fishing and it didn't really go as planned. We did get into a couple perch. We also got into a couple crappie. Uh, we had a fun time out there, but just wasn't quite enough content to push out a video for you guys. So we decided we're gonna pack up, head out to another lake and that's where we are now. We set up a little bit late, uh, but we've got six holes drilled out. We have three tip-ups and we have three iFish Pros. Those are gonna be set up with frostbite rods. The rods are gonna have PC Fun reels on them. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those in a little bit. Also, I am rocking the PC Fun suit that just came out this year. Nice and warm, look at that. I don't even have to have it zipped up all the way. This thing is warm. If you guys are looking for a new suit, maybe a Christmas present, uh, it's a little late for that, but hey, if you guys are looking for a new suit at an affordable price, Price. This is gonna be it right here. New PC Fun suit. I will have everything that we're using today linked down in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead, step into the shack, show you guys what we got going on, and we're gonna get right into this video. First flag of the night. Liv's going wild on a tip up. Any movement? Nope. Nothing yet, okay? We gotta turn this thing off. Up light off. Liv's gonna go ahead and take the first flag of the night. Let's see what we've got. I feel like there is. Going? I think so. Yep. There we go. Woo! The little guy. First one of the night. I don't know Woo! There we go. We well, got one. First one of the night. Probably right around that. 14, 15 inch range, right around the keeper size. We're not keeping any fish out here tonight, so we're gonna go ahead, get this one unhooked. First one, give me some. Woo! Let's go, hopefully that's the first of many. Grab my pliers, we'll get them unhooked, get them back down there right away. I'll let you do the honors, go ahead. Send them on back. He's, He's ready. Ah! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Alrighty, well, there's the first one. We're gonna get this tip up set back up, get another minnow. Check it out. We got a tip up! Oh lordy. This one is on the iFish Pro. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so this is Olivia's first time ever using an iFish Pro. No movement really out of it yet. Not sure if the fish is here, but probably is. It's probably just sitting there with it. So basically just gonna kind of talk you guys through how you use an iFish Pro and also show Olivia how to use one for the first time. So basically you've got your rod holder here. I'm gonna go ahead, you can pick that up slowly. Can you pick it up? Yep, slowly, just gently pick that up. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, a little bit frozen up. Should I shut it? Yep, you can shut the bail. Now if the fish was running, you would want to let him just kind of do his thing and leave the bail open until uh -huh. he kind of stopped or closed it right on him. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this, there we go, okay. And I just reel it? You reel it up and if it gets tight, you take him. <gasps> yep, there you go. Keep going. On the iFish Pro. <laughs> Woo! All right, bring him here, bring him here. Settle down. Look at what I got. All right, there it is. Beautiful walleye. That one is probably around that 17-ish range, I would say. We're gonna go ahead, get it unhooked, and uh, yeah, get it back down there. Nice job. Thanks. First strike on the iFish Pro. I can't decide if I like this thing better or the tip-ups better. Here's my first little friend on my first time doing an iFish Pro. Nice. <laughs> go ahead and send him back. He's almost ready. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Scares you every time. Huh? I know, I don't know why. <laughs> every right. time, I'm just whoop. Well, we're gonna try and get this iFish Pro set back up. Woo! Nice job, give me some. First time on the iFish Pro. That's pretty awesome. 
Was that more fun, you think? I don't know. It kind of is fun because when this thing bends, you're like, oh my God, is it a giant? Well, true test is to uh, get a giant on and then we'll see how good your gauge is as to how big that fish that I next I need to catch a be. giant. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All righty, guys. Well, made it back to the shack here. I uh, just wanted to go through and kind of show you what we're working with. You guys have seen us use the iFish Pros here on the channel before. And uh, just wanted to show you the rod and reel combo that we got going on here. So we have been rocking the frostbite rods for the last two years now. Uh, these things have been absolute dynamite for us. And we are pairing every single one of our iFish Pros up with a reel from PC Fun. This is the Honor XT. Uh, these things have been awesome. As you can tell, it's battling the cold. It's all frosted up. It's starting to get pretty windy out there. Uh, but these things have been awesome. They've put us on a lot of big fish. I'm super excited to be working with the company. And also just to show you guys a high class reel, but at an affordable price. So if you guys don't already know this, PC Fun reels are not something that you're gonna find in store. They are sold exclusively online, which is why you're gonna be able to buy it at a much more affordable price. So if you guys are interested in getting some really nice reels like we use here on the channel, check out the PC Fun website. Again, I'm gonna have that linked down in the description below. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer. I could definitely tell the front starting to come through. The next couple days are going to be really, really cold. Um, but yeah, hell starts tonight. Maybe we get one or two more flags before we head out, we'll see. But yeah, for right now, we're indoors, we're enjoying it, we're warm, and we'll see if we get some more fish. Wow, I almost don't believe it. We actually have a red blinking light over there. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute, actually. <laughs> Not gonna lie, spirits were getting a little bit low, but we've got another flag. One thing I forgot to mention to you guys earlier, I was talking about, no way, we just got two. No got way! Two. Yep, we just got two blinking lights. Let's go! Okay. We might have a flurry of fish coming through, uh, but before we take these fish, I did just also want to mention, if you guys order anything from PC Fun, I didn't even tell you guys, we've got this sweet code. When you get to the checkout, use code NBEDITS18, and it'll save you 18% off on your order. Now let's go check out those tip pops. Well, there she be in all of her glory. Woohoo! Olivia's got the PC Fun jacket on because she got a little bit cold, so. I stole it. It's a little big on you. That's okay, it'll do. You kind of look like an Oompa Loompa, is that bad? That's rude. <laughs> uh, that means I get this one. Wow, I think we got a rock, paper, scissors over it. That's kind of tradition, right? Okay. All right, we've got two of them, so go ahead quick. Let's rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay, 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 okay. Rock, Wait, no, no, I'm not ready. You're not ready? Okay, Here um, we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh, I gotcha. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. I'm gonna give you the camera. Woo, apologize for the wind. Wind definitely picked up here heavily within the last half hour or so. We're just gonna go ahead and take it. The hole's starting to freeze up because of that wind. Oh, there we go. All right, on the beaver dam tip up, let's go ahead and see what we've got. Nothing. That one got away and I think it got the minnow as well. Good thing I lost rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, that is tough. Hard to say what happened there. Something could have got frozen up. Uh, maybe he just ripped it off. He took out a little bit of line, a couple feet or so maybe. But well, we got another blanket light. We're gonna go ahead and get this one fixed up. And uh, we're gonna go head over, check that one out right away. Well, I decided to be a nice girlfriend and let Brandon get it. Yep. Since he hasn't gotten a fish yet. I have not caught a walleye yet tonight. So Olivia's let me take this one. Thank you, Olivia. We actually decided to pick that last tip up up. This is going to be our last flag for the evening unless something crazy miraculously happens, which is possible because we just got two flags after a very long lull, but it's getting late. We got a long drive. Wow, these are really getting frozen up. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Big fish, hopefully. Got him. <gasps> Yay! Decent head shape. Sucker. Should That's, we show him? Yeah. 
that's how big the suckers are that we're using so if you guys are afraid to use big bait big bait catches big fish but it also catches eater sized walleyes as well and what's crazy is that fish might have actually ate two large suckers because we had side by side tip ups go up both had large suckers on probably about five to six inches in length all right one last look at them going back wow that's exciting it's gonna be our last fish for the evening Whew, it is cold out here tail wave goodbye see you buddy that is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead, sorry about that, turn the headlamp off so you can see a little bit better. Like I said, I think that's gonna be the last one unless one of them pop. We're gonna start putting things back, but man, we had a lot of fun out here tonight. I think we had a total of five or six flags, ended up catching three walleyes. Olivia got one on the iFish Pro, and we each got one on a tip up. Um, not a huge numbers night, not a giant fish kind of night either but we wanted to come up here feels really good to be back on the ice we spent a week in Fargo North Dakota and we had a lot of fun out at the Fargo ice show met a lot of great people we had an absolute blast out there super thankful for the opportunity but man it was hard to be away from the ice for a solid two weeks but uh, we're back out here we're catching some fish and we're having fun here. well 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 what's going on in here we got snacks from Quick Trip because we're starving. Check it out. Woo! Some wings and some Parmesan garlic pretzel sticks. <laughs> time out time. As you can tell, we made our back to civilization. We loaded up the truck, got everything all packed up hit the road, went into town, uh, ended up getting some food for our drive home. We did stop at Quick Trip, and if you are curious, yes, Quick Trip is straight up gas. 10 out of 10, would Woo! recommend. Uh, got some wings for the ride home and an energy drink. It's been a long day. Uh, we spent the morning out doing some pan fishing, as I said earlier. We did okay. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but we still had some fun out there. We knew, you know what, we gotta pack up. We gotta go walleye fishing. So we set up a little bit later than we wanted to. Um, I do think we missed that sundown bite. I think we missed a pretty big window this evening. Uh, but you know what, we still got out there. We caught some fish, we had some fun. Yeah, we're gonna get them next time. Olivia caught her first walleye on an iFish Pro, so we're pretty pretty jacked about that. Overall, it was a good night, given the fact that we are going through a cold front. Again, fishing on another low pressure night. Um, the bite's been tough, but at the same time, the bite's been pretty good. So can't really complain with the results. It's just tough when you gotta go through and drive an hour to two hours for some of these trips. You're making a mile long trip out and we don't even keep the fish most of the time. So some people call us crazy, but to our roots, we are die hard out here making content for you guys. We hope that you guys really enjoy it. So if you did, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. We would really appreciate that. If you guys wanna see Olivia on the channel more often, Go ahead, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. We really appreciate you guys joining along. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. It'll let you know anytime in the future that we post a video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines and the edits.